What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to show you an awesome application for the iPad that is going to change the way you view media and all of your social contacts. So check it out. So this application is a free download, it's called Flipboard. When the iPad was announced, everybody was really excited about how it was going to change the way we consume our media. Was the iPad going to be really the paradigm shift uh, in how we look at magazines and newspapers? So while we've yet to see sort of the killer magazine, the killer newspaper on the iPad, that sort of idea that the iPad is a great medium for looking at this type of content has been taken sort of a step further with the application called Flipboard. Let's go ahead and open it up. So what it's gonna do is actually going to take the content of your choice, so Twitter, Facebook, or whatever subjects in the news that you like, and aggregate it together into sort of a newspaper format. Uh, which is very cool. So let me go ahead and flip, follow its instructions. And you can see that right here, I've got Facebook, Twitter, I've got Flip Tech, Flip Photos, and it'll actually integrate with your Facebook and Twitter accounts. Now it's still sort of a beta application, so when you download it, uh, you have to request the ability to add your Facebook and Twitter account. It won't come right away. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Let's jump right in with Twitter, for example. It actually takes all of your contents, and so if anyone's posting a video, for example, it'll post a video here like its own article with a tweet right below it. If someone's posting uh, a news article, the article will show up sort of in the context. So here's someone that was posted uh, a video. So you see something by Tony Marlowe, Kevin Rose, uh, Danny Pudi. You can sort of see some of the videos that were posted here. Go ahead and flip the next page. So someone posted a link to an article. Um, you can go ahead and see what the article is, something Pocket Now wrote. Go ahead and scroll right on through and sort of view all of your content. It's a very interesting way to view your Twitter feeds. I look at my Twitter feeds all the time. Now it's sort of a fun way to sort of bring all this content, uh, make it a little more personable. You can actually look at it. It's more dynamic. It's less um, static than we've seen in the past. So you can go ahead and see what this is going to look like here. So here's some other uh, Twitter posts that sort of all show up on one page. If there are any text or videos associated with it, or articles rather. So here's some articles here as well, uh, some pictures. You go ahead and scroll through, and this is going to happen with your Facebook feeds as well. Let's go ahead and go back, and let's go ahead and see what other sections we can add. So there's a ton of other sort of sections that you can add. You can search for some as well, but you can see what they are right here. Uh, sports, news, politics, uh, New York Times has application here. A lot of these companies are starting to actually have uh, applications for Flipboard. You can see Wired's got one, uh, and Gadget's got one, TechCrunch. You can see that there are just quite a few. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of the uh, default ones here, uh, Flip Tech. Certainly we're all tech fans here. So it's gonna aggregate a ton of tech content uh, from a variety of different news sources. So here you can go ahead and view sort of all of your tech content, almost in your own personalized magazine. Uh, it is very cool to uh, use. Anyway guys, I want to give you just a real quick overview of uh, the application. Uh, really is fun, it's a great way to sort of pass some time. Uh, Flipboard, go ahead and check it out. It's a free download uh, from the App Store. I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.